the best young racers from around the globe compete for a chance to break into the big time of world-class racing. Many can be in the top 100, only a special few make it to the top 10. These are the young guns of racing. Out of the gate they go, advantage Vincent Nobile. Vincent Nobile's going to win it on a great run. There's not too many natural kids come along, but he is a natural. He's an absolute natural. He's one of the best I've ever seen for no more runs than he's made. Stage is up and away we go. No field's got 100 per second. Let's see if he's got enough Hemi under the hood. Survey set. Yes, he does. It's impossible what he's doing. I might have only made 100 laps in the car, but I made a million laps in my head. We weren't winning, and we decided to make a change. And, uh, and John Nobile had been talking to my dad. I was planning on racing with my father, and we were going to do a limited schedule with whatever we could with the funds we had. You know, he's only made probably 80 laps in his life, but he's been with me, and I've made thousands, and he's watched every one of them. You know, my father is definitely my biggest inspiration to the sport because he taught me everything I know. Every time I watched my dad go down the track, I simulated that in my head, on the golf cart, making those noises, shifting. No matter where I saw John Nobile, and I mean whether it was on the starting line fixing to go down the racetrack, or in the pit area working on the race car, there was always a constant, and it was this little bitty guy. This little guy was attached to his dad, literally, no matter what was going on. He kind of jumped the gun and then put me in a pro stock car at the age of 17 when I got my license. I kind of did ask Nick. I said, hey, if you're getting a driver, why don't you give Vincent a shot? Well, it kind of went in one ear and out the other. You know, my goals were always pretty high. And I don't, you know, failure is not in my vocabulary. Then uh, John said, here's the deal, Irene. And I said, what? He said, I don't have power but my son can drive, I know he can drive. I've seen him come out last year and run some in John's car. His calmness and his coolness uh, really impressed me right off the bat. I think he'd probably be smart to investigate that. I think he's gonna be a good little driver. We knew he had it in him to do that kind of driving. It was just a matter of giving him a competitive race car. The phone rang and it was Nick and Irene. And they said, we decided we want Vincent to drive our car. And I was like, shocked. From the first time he let the clutch out till the last time he let the clutch out in testing, he was deadly with his reaction time. His shifts were all within 50 RPMs of each other. And my dad saw how quickly he was picking everything up and how he only had to tell him something once. And once you told him something once, he got it. And I can talk to him and say, Vincent, I saw this little bobble that you did. Really? And he'll just, the next time he's got it fixed. Every track I go to is brand new to me because it's my rookie season. I've never driven on this track, so I have no idea what it's like. I just wanted to qualify because I've never qualified for an event before. Then Pomona came, I, I qualified. It was on the bottom half of the field, but I was in. I didn't care. I was, I was as happy as could be. So we came out of the box in Pomona at the Winter Nationals and we slapped a 003 light on Alan Johnson, our teammate and the car that supplies our engines. Oh man! And so the wheel gets his first round win with a 656 with a one. When we started this season, we only planned on attending 15 races. As the season progressed, two races later with Vegas, I reached my first ever final round. I was I was in shock. I mean, never in a million years would I have thought that soon I would be in a final round. But after that I realized how great of a team I'm on. So I think it was by the third race. Nick said, that's it, we're going to every race. He's racing against his heroes. He's racing Greg Anderson. He's racing Jason Lyon. You know, he's racing all these people that he's heard about his whole life. Now he's in that position to where he's the one that has to make that ultimate decision. When to let go of that clutch, when to hit those ship points. It's just like baseball or anything, it's playoffs. It's one round elimination and that's it. You don't get another chance at it. When you start out driving a race car at 19 years old, you're fresh, you're hungry, you're 
freaking going for it every time you drop a punch. These guys are legends to me. They're all champions. They know what they're doing. I keep telling everybody, pinch me. I must be dreaming, pinch me. Now I know what he's experienced by standing on the star line and watching. Because now I'm standing on the star line and watching. He's staging, I'm staging right along with him. When he leaves, I leave with him. When he makes that first gear change, I'm right there with him. He's going to be good. He's going to be really good.